that you were part of an England team and an England squad and that, you know, the golden generation where there were all these expectations. England have now obviously reached the finals of the Euros, the semi-finals of the World Cup. They go into this World Cup where almost the expectations seem justified, you know, for them to at least reach a semi-final. Do you think that's still fair for this England team? Or do you still think when you look at the calibre of opposition that they could face later on in the tournament if they were to get there, that realistically they probably shouldn't be billed as one of the favourites? Somewhere in the middle on that one. I think it's a talented squad and we should just appreciate and, and congratulate what Gareth's done in his job to get to the semi-final and a final in major tournaments. And just and if that brings a bit of expectation, then good. I think most people, when you when you balance them and realistic about it, you look at other squads in the tournament and you see teams, Brazil, Argentina, full of talent, European teams that have gone and done it before in recent years with France and Germany. And I think in a balanced way, you look at it and say, yeah, we, tr we trust and believe in this England team. We've got a lot of good players, but we also respect that this is a World Cup and a lot of nations are strong. So maybe I'm asking for balance and some people don't want to see that. I mean, we're all England fans, so you want, you want the best, you want the team to go a long way. But I think it's uh, if they build momentum within the tournament, get through the group and build momentum, then I'm sure that the team's got that talent to live up to expectations. Now, what that ends up being, I don't know.